What up, what up, what up, what up? This is going to be a simple video. This is just kind of sharing something with you that I just, I don't know, I just thought, whoa, I did it. It's kind of cool. Um, so why not just share it? Huh? Maybe? No? Maybe? Whatever. Watch it. Don't watch it. Whatever. So we got the K-Fun on the old Hannah Mods V3 here, uh, DNA 30 thing. And 100% uh, VG juice here. Mm -hmm. And my tank is empty. Can you see it? There's no juice in there. No juice. No juicy, juicy. Saw a little bit run in there, right? There's a little bit. But in my experience with the K Fun, once you get to about that amount of juice, you're done. You're pretty much done. So whatever, it's like I'm milking it for all it's worth. Just kind of hanging out tonight. It's 11.30 in the p.m. And I'm just trying to vape all the juice that's in here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, I did something with this today. I went up to my local vape supply shop in Rapid City, TKO Vapors, to get myself a little bit more of banana bread juice, right? Isn't it wonderful? Vape fuel, TKO, isn't that amazing? And uh, we, him and I got to just BS it, right? You know, and it's cool. It's fun to do that with a fellow vapor right there in person because let's face it, how many people do you know in your life? I mean, it's probably, maybe it's different for some of you than it is for me, but there's like no one no one around my area that vapes. I got my buddy Ryan, uh, and I have converted a couple other railroaders. At least I, I had something to do with, I believe, you know, and there's there's another one that's thinking about it and stuff, right? Anyway, so it's like this guy's coming to an end as far as the uh, juice in here, and I thought, well, since I'm on the verge of taking it apart, I would show you this. And um, anyway, so I'm talking with this guy, you know, we're just hanging out, talking vape, right? Talking shop, if you will. And that was cool. And uh, like I said, there's not a lot of real vapors out there. I mean, sure, I mean, I've got vapors that are just like starting and stuff like that. And, um, but there's not many that are building coils, you know, because you do eventually cross a threshold. If you don't, I think it's great. I totally support anyone that just sticks with a basic tank, whether it be a pro tank, uh, the Vivinova or the um, whatever tank works for you, the Nautilus, I don't care what it is, I clear, and um, or I mean there's there's plenty of tanks I could mention that are worth mentioning and so like you know if you stick with those and that's all you do and you just have a little whether it's an Ego Twist or a uh, you know like the Kanger Ebot setup and uh, you know whatever I don't care what it is, and you stick with that. I totally have a lot of respect for that, and um, but I think for a lot of vapors, uh, it turns into something much more, you know. And eventually, you get into building because there's something about it. I cannot explain it. Uh, for a long time, I avoided the whole thing of just of building things, you know. And then I built a few things that was like, oh yeah, that's cool, whatever. But. Uh, you know, it's hard to beat my good old Vivianova, you know, it's just, and, and, and I still say that today, that the Vivianova is still hard to beat, because it just really is a fantastic tank, and I know that a lot of you have your favorite tank that delivers for you, and it gives a flavor that's amazing, and that being said, every cheap tank, almost every single cheap tank, if not every one of them, can be rebuilt, and you can build it yourself, and do some fancy things that you would do in a cave fund, um, or any RDA, you know, for that matter, <clears throat> and, and and do something more with it. But it, there's something fun in that too, you know. Uh, that's what I started off with was was just rebuilding the Vivinova. I believe it was my first build ever, you know. I just had to try it, and the challenge is fun. And, and, and when you pull it off, it, and you realize, okay, well, it's not quite as difficult as I thought this was going to be. I mean, I, I did it to where it produces vapor. Then you, you, you get on that kick of, well, can I make it better? Is there a different build? Especially with the K-Fun, so many videos have popped up. Now, this is one that you will not see a video on. I'm not saying I'm the first, 
because I would never say that. I'm sure it's been done, but there's not a YouTube video out there. However, with this particular build of a coil, which is called a Dad, diamond coil, yes, honey? Can you watch the, um, with me? Because I might be scared. Oh, it's not scary. I promise you'll be fine. Okay. But let me finish this video, okay? Okay. Okay, baby. Anyway, um, the diamond coil. Now, some of you might be already yeah. what? <sighs> yes. Okay, sounds like a deal. She wants me to watch a movie with her. <laughs> anyway, so. The diamond coil. If you go to Rip Trippers, now, and I got this idea, f or, or, or maybe I should say inspiration, or both, from this guy uh, that I got my juice from, and he was, he showed me this. You would not have believed this, this setup he's got, guys. Um, there are these humongous batteries, and I think they are 26650s. Now, they are huge, um, really big around. And, and, and he's got them stacked and this mod is like this freaking tall you you can't even like pinky it's it's you know the old uh, mechanical with the button on the bottom and uh, you can't even you can tr you know press with your pinky as hard as you want you ain't pressing that button it is so big and massive you would have to grab it and like shove that sucker in but I took a vape of this thing zero nicotine and, and that's something I admire about this guy. And, and there's a lot of guys out there that do this. They chase the clouds that everyone talks about. Clouds. And he was definitely getting them. I had never seen such vapor come off of anything in my life. And he was using what is called a stovetop build. And he got it from this guy called Rip Trippers. And now I've seen many of Rip Trippers' videos. I hadn't seen the stovetop build, though. And if you're in the vaping thing and you like YouTube reviews, chances are you've seen a review by, by Rip Trippers. Just YouTube him. And if you want to see how to build this diamond coil, he does a pretty good explanation of it. And uh, what he uses a, um, a syringe, right, uh, that, that, that you fill, you know, a liquid with. So it's like a 20-gauge syringe, if I remember right. I've got one. And I tried to build that with that today. But for me, the syringe has a tendency to bend a little bit. It's just, I don't know, something about it I didn't like. So I went with the very smallest micro screwdriver I had. And that comes in your, in your standard set. Just go with your smallest screwdriver uh, that you have in there. And it's going to be, um, and this isn't, isn't the smallest one for some reason that I grabbed, it's going to be the flathead. It's just a little guy. There's you know, not much to that. As you can see, it's pretty small. And, and it's just a little bit bigger than 20 gauge, but it worked. It gave me 1.6 ohms. I did four wraps per diamond coil. How did I do it? 28 gauge canthal. I would honestly suggest going for like 24, 22, even 20 gauge canthal. This guy in the mall was using 20 gauge. More and, people are more and more people are popping up using 20 gauge. It's a really heavy thick wire which means it requires more wraps. Uh, which, you know, it makes sense. It's a really thick, thick, thick wire thick, thick, thick wire that's glowing red hot versus this tiny little thin wire is going to do something. On top of that, you're going to use way more wraps, so you're going to have a lot more coil area. You know, so you can get a lot more vapor, but he had the flavor going on, was what, you know, because I've had things that put out plenty of vapor, but the flavor's kind of, you know, and, and at the end of the day, I'm chasing the flavor more than I am the vapor. I mean, I love vapor, sure. Who doesn't? If you're a vapor, you like vapor. Duh. But I use this and I would just do four wraps, right? I take that heavy wire 28 gauge and uh, like I say, I would encourage you to even use thicker And because uh, I think I'm going to start from here on out. But I gotta buy some. So, uh, anyway, so I wrap four, space it out just a little bit, come about, you know, four, space just a little bit. I mean, just a tiny bit of space. It doesn't take much. I mean, just like, you know, you're talking about, yeah, I don't know, around that much space in between coils. And then I just stuck a, once I got done, I pulled it off of here, and then I stuck this through each coil, and I just started kind of t tweaking, then go on to the next coil above it, tweak, and, and then it creates a diamond shape until eventually you are left with, I should, 
Now, I was taking this apart because I need to refill it, like I said. Eventually, you are left with, and I'll get my manual focus ready, <laughs> this guy. Now, that's going to be, as I figured it would be, very difficult to see. And I'll work on the focus here for a minute with you, see if I can get it better. Yeah, it's about as good as I can get for you, probably. See those coils there? That is a diamond coil. That I, I, I wrapped it all with one piece of wire. That was it. I didn't, you know, and, and somebody else had recommended this in my uh, comment section. I wish I had him up. I'd totally give you a shout out, but you know who you are, and I appreciate that. I have not forgotten you, and I took your comment seriously. That you just use one piece of wire, and you just space them out, you know, and then by the time you're done and you get it shaped, you just have two ends still regardless, you know, with the same piece of wire. Just, you know, make a little break in between your coil wrapping. And that's what you're uh, left with, the guys right there. And you can see it producing a little vapor there. And, uh, you know, whatever. It is uh, it is what it is. It's hard for the focus to pick up that vapor. Yeah, see that guy going? Pretty sweet, right? I don't know. I think it's pretty neat. And uh, it does give a little boost of flavor. <clears throat> and I, I read something today that I really agreed with. You know, and, and, and getting into more of these builds, and I encourage you to give these a shot because, you know, like I said, go to Rip Trippers, the Diamond Coil, just just YouTube, Rip Trippers Diamond, and he's got a few, you know, he's got the stove top, he's got a few different um, things on there that you can check out, and it's it's all pretty, you know, pretty awesome stuff, I gotta say, but I had to try this because I knew. Uh, right away that it would work with this. I tried the stove top, did not work out with this guy at all. And um, um, so I tried the diamond thing and, and, and see the theory is is if you've got you know a micro coil will always put out tons of vapor because it's covering so much surface area but it might sometimes actually sacrifice flavor. Well that's when they got into twisted canthal you know and that will help with flavor because the thicker wire and the twist will, you know, the juice will tend to cling to it more. But the theory is, is that little space, you see that? Um, let me try to bring it in for you again here. See the space in the middle of those coils? I don't know, it's tough to see. But in between all those coils there, I got four of them all together, as you can see there. And then in the center of them, that is the air, air hole. And then you see the cotton surrounding uh, the air hole because the, I used two pieces of, uh, of, you know, made my own two little pieces of cotton wick. And I just stuffed them through two at a time. And that worked out all right. Let me just take a peek at this thing. Is everything looking all right? Because I'm looking at the screen. Yeah, yeah, it looks fine. It looks fine. And, uh, yeah, there's four coils there. Anyway, so there are air holes in there, and that way the air is able to just blast out a straight hole, but it is surrounded by the juice and the cotton, and that that is going to boost the flavor. That is the theory. <clears throat> and I thought Rip Trippers put it really well, the way he put it. He said, you know, this is not something that is going to be like, oh my god, a world of difference, man. You know, it's not. But there's a difference. It's like subtle, but it's there, and you and you and it's enough that you notice it. And I noticed it with this that the flavor is um, it's just a little tiny bit of a boost, you know. And um, it's fun. It's fun stuff. It just really is. That's all I can say about it. It really is fun stuff. And um, it's uh, I don't know. It's just fun to be able to screw around with this stuff because. You know, once you have everything you need, and like, you know, me, eventually, I'm going to have, I'm trying to put this back together as I'm talking to you, sorry, um, everything that you would ever need to build things. I've already, you know, got an arsenal, and has my vape budget, you know, felt it, has my, I shouldn't say vape budget, because I think that's, I don't know, for me it's like, has my budget, period, felt the effects of vaping? Absolutely. Because when you get into this, and you're going to spend money. That's all there is to it. But there is always an end. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. There is, you know, definitely just a light at the end of the tunnel. Because eventually, you have all the different gauges of coil. 
and you know for like five ten bucks at the most you can get a massive spool of this stuff and it's gonna last you forever for five bucks you know you can get yourself I dropped the screw oh that is always a no-no where did it go it is not what I had in mind people I don't think it hit the floor though oh I see it it's in my lap sitting in my private part <laughs> just pretend that never happened folks and anyway so you know eventually you're gonna run out of things to buy and um, you know organic cotton balls a big bag of them oh my god that cotton will last you forever so you know it's just like getting into vaping really all over again and the fact that you know initially sure it's gonna be a bit of an expense but before you know it, um, you've got everything you would ever need and then some to do all the builds. And it keeps things interesting. It keeps things fun. It's a challenge, and I think it's the challenge that I go for because it's a lot like trying to find that perfect tone of my guitar. And I swear, I am always searching for it. Most people say, oh, wow, that's a hell of a tone. And maybe they're right, but it's like, to me, it's never good enough. To me on the guitar, I'm never good enough. And that's what strives me, or, or, you know, keeps me striving to get better. And it's the same sort of effect here, which is why people like me enjoy things like this. I enjoy the challenge of things. And, and, and it's almost an art. And, and it's kind of a drug in another sense. And if I'm that way, then ch chances are people out there that are watching my videos are that way too, I think. Because it just makes sense. If you're vaping, some of you might just, you know, I'm just looking to quit smoking and that's it. You know, you didn't make much of a science out of it. And I applaud you for that. I think that's great. It's just stick with that. But some of you are probably, chances are, like me, where it's like vaping is more, and, and even smoking back when you smoked was more than just a, something you did. You know, it's like people like us always need something to do to keep our minds occupied. You know, we don't do well just sitting around doing nothing. And, uh, you know, we can't, we can't be still for too long. We can't let our minds wander. And, uh, you know, I can continue to go into that. But, uh, so I just refilled this thing. And, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this thing hits so hard at K-Fun, man. I mean, the throat hit is so much more. That's the biggest thing by far. It's just immediately more insane. And, you, and the nicotine delivery is much more when you get into doing these things. My dog's whining outside. But, uh, you know, i got to do some priming puffs because I just filled it and I was really pushing it to empty it. Something else I find out. The air hole right there, as you can see. Or is it, yeah, isn't it there? I don't know. Well, let me see if I can focus. <clears throat> no, it's not. Turn it around. Yeah. I find that if I plug that air hole, like, like I'll, I'll take it and I'll just like do a dry hit, right? And I'll have my finger over the hole, not over the hole to where right now I got nothing. Now if I uncover the hole and just, and immediately cover it, I'll see bubbles come up. Like, it just does a better job of, uh, of, uh, wicking, I guess, if I'm trying to, do, to prime it. It makes sense, because you're just holding that vacuum in place and forcing the juice to go straight into that, you know, cotton wick. And, uh, Which reminds me, because of that thing that I, I was talking about earlier, when I read today, uh, a whole bunch of people were talking about <clears throat> ways to build the K-Fun, to get more flavor, to get better. You know, there's plenty of people out there like, well, okay, I've had this, I've had that, I've had that. What else is there? You know, am I missing something? Is there something even more great that i got to try? And that's what's so fun about this hobby, is you're, it's a never-ending search. And one guy said something that, you know, I agree with and disagree with at the same time. I, I could not agree more on one hand, and yet I disagree on another hand. But he said, to me, the art of putting in your wick, the art of putting your cotton in, or whatever it is, is even more important 
you know, how you wick it, how you put that cotton in, how you put that silica in is almost even more important than the coil build itself. And I think they're exactly right, because there is a fine line there. You, you don't want it too tight. You don't want it too loose. You want it just making contact. And I mean just making contact, where it's really easy, really easy to move through out there, but yet it's making contact. And, uh, and you don't want to use too much, because you want plenty of airflow to happen. Without airflow, that, that reduces flavor, okay? At least that's what they say. I don't know. But based on some of the things that I've experienced thus far in this part of the journey of vaping, when you get into this, there seems to be truth to it. Because with more airflow, which is what I have here, seems to come a little bit more flavor. And, uh, you know, whatever. I'm going to end that here. And I just wanted to share that with you and to show you that I did it on the first time. And, you know, there was the usual shaping, and, oh, it's not, okay, just patience, okay, keep shaping, keep, you know, and then they, even, even if you don't think it may even look good, just capture the wires, and then you can keep, it's even easier at that point to even just keep shaping from there. Just take your time with it, and, uh, and then you can fire it up, and then you can shape it even more, you know, so and that's, that's fun. It just keeps your mind busy and occupied because you're building things, and um, it's just, uh, next thing you know, you're just, You'll be really good at it, and I'm not. <laughs> so, man, maybe I'm getting good at it. I don't know. Mm. But in my mind, I'll never be that good at it. Just for fun, why don't we crank this? Because I haven't really cranked this up very high. 1.6 home on this guy. Which is why I'd like to use a little heavier wire because I wouldn't mind getting that down just a little bit. Yeah, tasting pretty nice man. And I'm still kind of in that break-in period too. It's only the second tra tank that I've uh, that I'm just starting so Let's just call it a day on all of that, and um, it's getting late. i got to be thinking about bedtime and all that good stuff. My daughter wants to go do something, but I thought, hey, I, you know, <coughs> I need to put out something. And uh, and I thought, well, that would be kind of neat to put out, you know, just something just kind of pretty easy going, nothing major, but I thought it was I thought it was a neat coil, something I was kind of proud of, you know, my first four-coil build in the K-Fun, and, and it's something I've never seen on a YouTube video, so anybody that was wondering, you know, a, a different type of build, it does work, and it, it can be done, and it, and it seems to work fine. So, you know, if you want to try it, give it a shot, but uh, if you don't, then no, I don't care. All right, everybody have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you very soon. I'm sure of it. Typhoon's coming out. Um... I was going to give you a little sneak peek of that. I thought about that, but I thought, no, I'll do it in, 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 in its own little thing. So um, let's just uh, take a vape. We'll call it a night. All right, everybody. There you go. Thank you for watching, everybody. Sleep well. I hope you're already sleeping well. Maybe you'll just check this video out tomorrow by the time it gets uploaded and all that good stuff. So we'll talk to you later. Goodbye.